and I'm Matt Hancock, and welcome to Playing Devil's Advocate, where Chris has abandoned me so he can get a real job. Gut-wrenching betrayal aside, do you know what the greatest movie of all time is? Obviously stupid response? No, stupid! Back to the Future, the classic tale of teenager Martin McFly, who travelled back in time and accidentally interfered with his parents' first meeting, leading to a race to get them back together, before catching a bolt of lightning back home with the guidance of the younger version of the Time Machine's creator, Doc Emmett Brown. So at the end of the film, Doc arrives to take Marty and his girlfriend Jennifer into the future, which was written as a joke apparently. But then they decided to make an actual film, churning out the worst cinematic abomination to whatever is popular to hate right now. Fifty Shades of Grey? Not too obvious. I don't know, all these concerns are whatever they want here. So let's take a look and see how this abomination could screw up such a fantastic franchise. Our heroes arrive in the year 2015, into a traffic jam of flying cars. Except flying cars don't exist in 2015. You go through the trouble of making an authentic 1955, and yet you can't get 2015 right. Right on the tick. Amazing. Too bad the post office isn't as efficient as the weather service. Bullshit! The weatherman is never right! Marty has to change places with his son, suiting into his self-lacing Nike shoes. Now hold up, we later see that the McFlyers could barely afford a working TV screen, and yet this kid has breakthrough technology shoes that have only just come out when this movie is set? So while walking through Disney's Tomorrowland, Marty is scared by a Jaw Shark hologram. Now first of all, there's not that many of Jaws films. Officially. Two, holographic sharks don't exist. Only Michael Jackson and Tupac. You need to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. Yes, because hands-free gaming went over so well, didn't it? Actually, I found the Kinect fairly useful to lock me in without pressing any buttons, and the voice controls for films gets a lot of use out of me. Some games are also fairly creative with how it's implemented, like Mass Effect 3 allowing you to change weapons using your voice like George Dredd, or Alien Isolation recognize your voice for better or for worse. And that's why the Kinect gets a plain devil's peripheral score of 7 out of 10. Wait, what were we talking about? So as old Biff's, new Biff's, Bully Biff and Chips, Biffy the Vampire Slayer, whatever, chase scene ripping off the first film. That this is inexcusable. Hoverboards only work on specifically designed magnetic tracks. Unless you're Tony Hawk, then you can ride whatever the hell you want. So future is saved, her intelligence is insulted, and Marty goes back to ruin his own time period. Wait, this, uh, this isn't right. What happened to 1985? Biff rules Hill Valley and is married to Marty's mom? But what about... No. No. This can't be happening! George! Michael J. Fox in drag! Don't look at it! It's too late for me, save yourselves! 